Bonjour, mon nom est Marc Petit et je suis le vice-président en charge de l'écosystème Unreal Engine chez Epic Games. Five years ago, we went to SIGGRAPH in 2017 with our first final rendering piece, you know, the trailer for Fortnite back in 2017. So, you know, at that time, people were using the real-time tools and Unreal Engine for previs. Now we've evolved the tool set and we are seeing, uh, you know, the engine used for final frame production. And of course, you know, in visual effects, we have all of those workflows around uh, virtual production where the engine is used to generate the environments in real time and get composite in real time. So it's a, it's a much bigger role. No major announcement for us, but, you know, we're working on uh, supporting UE5 customers. We see the adoption of UE5 very, very rapidly. I mean, it's pretty um, unusual that, you know, a major release gets adopted so fast by, by everybody. So, you know, we're here with our animation customers. Uh, you know, we were super happy to present the new Netflix show, Super Giant Brother Robots, you know, that premiered on August 4th on Netflix, completely produced within the Unreal Engine. A lot of virtual production customers are here at SIGGRAPH and we, we're here to talk to them and make sure that Unreal 5 is ready for them. For me, the metaverse is the evolution of the internet. It's what, what happens when the internet embraces real-time 3D and spatial computing. According to NVIDIA, it's a place when robots learn how to be robots. So it's all about AI, it's all about USD, and we are very, very strong supporters of USD. You know, we connect actually the Unreal Engine and the Universe platform through USD. Uh, we just had um, this morning a, a lot of a big session in the building the open metaverse class where uh, you know we underscore the very important role of USD uh, in the build up of the metaverse. So it's a new form of media, a new form of interactive experience. It means that everything gets collaborative by default. You know, 3D enables multi-user and 3D also enables interactivity. So you move from an internet based on video that is static and passive and a single user experience to an internet where everything is collaborative, interactive and participative. Now we need to make sure that, you know, USD evolves, you know, to support the requirements of interactive content. You, you know, it was born out of the requirements of film production. And then we need to make it a standard. Right now is an open source library. We need to make it a standard and we need to align this standard with the other standard. I mean, the Kronos organization did a fantastic work on GLTF. There is a huge adoption of GLTF, it's not part of the market, so there needs to be one metaverse. And so we need to make sure that there is a convergence between GLTF as a standard and USD with all the scene composition stuff, you know, capability that and, and merge it into ultimately, I think, my opinion is we should aim to have one standard. The people that come to SIGGRAPH are the people who understand real-time 3D. And I think they are the ones building the metaverse. And you see all the companies that are here at SIGGRAPH and have been here for the past few years. I think, you know, these are the, the key players actually uh, building it. Technology integration is actually easy. It's the teams that want to make sure that we preserve the culture of the team and we preserve the identity of the teams. But if you look like the integration of Sketchfab into Twinmotion, I mean, the results are actually incredible. I mean, you can mash up and create amazing imagery uh, with all the Sketchfab content into Twinmotion. So same with the deep integration of a Quixel library into UE5 when, you know, suddenly you can drag and drop all of those beautiful assets into a UE5 scene. And with integration with Nanite, you know, you can have infinite amount of geometry. So I think, you know, we are, we, we are doing a good job building a, a, a platform to create content and make sure that the content creation process becomes, you know, easy and affordable.